Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, guys, we're going to talk about Milo Yanniapolis telling Yay, if you're going to do Yeezy Corn, I'm going to have to depart and cut ties with you because I'm not about that life. Now, if you're not aware, we've been hearing for the past two weeks that Ye was going to venture, well, Ye will be venturing into um doing, you know, corn. As it relates to hiring corn stars, please read between the lines. We actually mean P-O-R-N when we say C-O-R-N, okay? But it's just because YouTube... They don't agree with you saying certain words. And when you say certain words, you your video gets demonetized. So we have to basically, you know, improvise and work around it so we can have a flow, smooth, easy conversation. Hope you guys understand. Now, as I was saying, right, we've been hearing for the past about two or three weeks that Ye is going to start um, a new business. It's going to be easy branded just the same, but it will be in the adult entertainment sector. Now, initially when we heard that, he was going to be hiring adult, you know, stars, adult entertainment stars. Now, TMZ came back and said, oh, it was just a studio. He's going to provide the studio for them to make these videos. Then he basically corrected them and say, no, it's not the studio. It is actual corn but then the streets have been saying it's a clothing line and then when i look at the final article that tmz did they showed you adult entertainers you know dressed in skimpy outfits so i said yes it's actually given the sense that he's making these you know salacious article of clothing for adult entertainers who are in the corn industry and that would be a good idea and many other people would, you know, find a few pieces from it because there are actual brands that make clothing dedicated to adult entertainers. So I believe that, you know, it was a good idea. However, based on what Milo is now saying, he has officially sent a formal email to Ye letting you know that if you're going to venture into the corn industry, I'm going to have to cut ties with you because I'm not about that life. So we're going to go through that um, email. So let's get into exactly what he wrote to Ye, right? Some parts of it, you know, the more sensitive part like names, you know, signatures and stuff has been cut out for the most part. So it says, dear right? And the name has been cut out. Then he says, I cannot be complicit in the production or um, discrimination of pornographic films and literature for moral and religious reasons, but also because such material and the kind of people invariably involved in its production represent an imminent danger to my life as a recovering addict and a and an unacceptable risk to my spiritual and physical health as a form as a former homosexual and there's some inform other information that has been blocked out and then it has milo's signature at the bottom and i have to say you know what this is very bold of milo this is very mature of him it's very intelligent of him as well because we know that sometimes people do have their addictions. We have heard Aesop Rocky talking about him at one point practically being a sex addict. Milo is, is now saying that he has really done some spiritual work on himself to, you know, re to basically, you know, not be a sex addict anymore. And he said that he was a former homosexual. So he's saying that 
He has worked on his spirituality. He has changed his life in terms of intimacy. And he just doesn't want to be attached to that anymore because he is afraid that if he is attached to that, you know, maybe in this sense, he would not be attached directly, but indirectly. It can basically cause him to spiral back to what he has worked so hard to, you know, take himself out of. And that is something that, you know, anyone with any moral compass would respect. Maybe they would not be so happy about having him, you know, leaving the company. But at the end of the day, anyone with a moral compass would have to respect what he's saying because it is said you know in a decent manner but (laughs) let's look at another side to it because we know that milo is a very questionable character i mean his name is caught up in so much controversy at this time and it's not just this time alone if we're really thinking about it over the years you know his name has been mentioned in campaign fraud on his um, campaign, previous campaigns that he has worked on, people consider him to also be R-A-C-I-S-T. And if you remember that thread of discussion that he had, you know, with someone that they exposed wherein he was calling a, a homosexual and all of that. So, I mean, <laughs> some people are saying, you know, maybe Ye doing easy corn is a good way to get rid of Milo out of the company for good. But, I mean, I don't think Ye getting into easy corn is good for him. I honestly don't believe that it is because if the guy is getting sued so much already for Donda Academy, Just imagine how many lawsuits he will have to fight if he actually gets into adult entertainment. Um, You're going to hear that he forced people to do this, he forced people to do that. People was essayed and all of that because we know he's not that guy that essays women. He loves women. He loves to have sexy time, but he goes about it the right way. And he's not afraid to be bold about it and be unapologetic about it. And he's very open about his, you know, addiction to sex and to porn. But what I'm saying is that if the guy is getting sued so much already, if he's been lied on repeatedly for his school, Donda Academy, just imagine the myriad of lawsuits he'll have coming his way just to venture into the corn industry. It's not going to be good. I mean, if he's just going to do clothing, that would be good. But if he's going to even provide a studio, be a part of the filming, directive cut, they're going to lie on him because that's what they're good at. And everyone still sees him as having good money and people are going to want some of that good money because you know what they're going to use now as an excuse they're going to say hollywood is going down most people in hollywood are getting sued and exposed for being a monster so i can do this to him and get away with it and before you know it we're going to see a me too campaign against them the only thing is that there are women out here who have been always, you know, talking good about him, saying that oftentimes they are hanging out after a show or after an event and the guys in the crew would be forcing them to dance or drink. And he has always been the one to say, no, 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 you cannot force her to do anything that she doesn't want to do. Leave her alone, you know. Maybe only those little clips would save him, but again, it is still not going to be good because that is going to be toxic publicity, you know, for people to say he did this, he did that, allegedly, knowing that it is not true. So I'm going to say this again. He's not going to do corn. He's not going to do it. And I'm going to hold firm and stand firm on that okay the clothing i can see him doing that hiring the filming setting up a studio 
I can't see him doing that. So I'm going to say he's not going to do it. But that's all I have to share in this video with you all. Let me know your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And see you guys later. Bye, guys.